Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Today, we're going to be talking about getting out of your own way. <laughs> it's one of those things that happens to all of us. We overthink. Overthinking is a huge problem, and it's usually reflective of fear. Um, and fear, you know, we all react in our ways. We fight, we freeze, we, um, uh, what is it? We fight, we freeze, we flee, or we, um, accommodate or connect. Um, and so knowing when you start overthinking, it's usually out of fear, fear of not knowing enough or not being enough. So how do we deal with this when it comes to organization? and productivity. It turns out that fear is often, <laughs> often it looks like procrastination. It's a bit of a freeze. And it's about, I don't know, there, there's a couple different things that go into when you freeze about something. Either you need more information or you don't think you're good enough. Um, but it can also look like jumping into action without the right amount of knowledge. So it's both sides of that equation, right? So when you skip steps to avoid feeling uncomfortable is where the problem comes in. Percolation is what procrastination really is. It's your brain trying to solve problems. And so if you jump into action too quickly before your brain has fully uh, solved the problem or given you a path to solve the problem, it can derail the progress in the long run. But if you procrastinate and wait too long, we can start telling ourselves that we're unmotivated, we're lazy, we suck, it's not going to work if we can't get into action. And so it's a two-sided coin, right? On the one hand, you need to give your brain enough time to figure it out. On the other hand, you want to get into action so you aren't just frozen standing still. So think of it this way. Instead of beating yourself up, give yourself a little bit of grace and say, I'm percolating. There's a piece missing. What do I need to get into action or to decide what the next best action is? Do you need a little more rest? Do you need to do a little more research? Do you need to talk it through with someone? Do you need to just stop, retrace a couple steps and get some basics um, back um, lay down a few more pieces of your foundation or your structure and then move forward again. Or you can just go ahead and keep wasting time, beating yourself up and not really motivating. And then that brings us down, right? So take charge of that, reframe and ask yourself, what else do you need to know to make the thing happen? What's, what's the, the thing that's in the way, right? So, um, the next thing is I want you to know that it's actually faster to not avoid things. So when you're avoiding feelings or emotions or confrontations or conflicts, it often takes longer than if you just faced it head on. That fear of actually facing the fear um, can help a lot if, with the overall motivation and getting you unstuck. So, you know, procrastination goes to a certain point and then it can become uh, avoidance. And so you want to get into action. If it's just one step, if you're afraid, just take one step and see what happens. And when it comes to organization, it's about going through your things. It's about going through both the physical things, the stuff you own, and about what's going on in your brain, your own mind, and your feelings and emotions about it. And if you want to be successful long term with staying organized and productive, you have to deal with the things that you're afraid of or that you did not quite great in the past and would like to do better. It's a self-discovery scenario when you actually look at your things instead of avoiding them anymore. It actually will help your brain solve the problem. So if you're in a hurry, just know that dealing with the things actually speeds it up. If you're really stuck, clean something, organize something, take a little bit of time, take a walk outside. It can help you figure out the dilemma of why you're stuck and not able to move forward. So I hope that helps you think through um, how procrastination and overthinking can get in your way. It's not 
So the overthinking piece, I want you to realize it's usually avoidance. We overthink because we want to please other people. We want to do what they want instead of listening to our own inner voice that says what we need to do. So know that there's a certain time to get quiet and freeze and silent and listen to our own voice about what we need to do next and what um, is really in the way. It's probably not the stuff and it's not having to get organized before you deal with the stuff. Get into the stuff and you will automatically begin getting more organized because your brain will solve that problem of why these things are in your way. All right. That's it for this week. I will see you next week. In the meantime, don't forget to like, follow, share, turn on your notifications and tell all your friends. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.